Hi guys, I hope you're ready for another great uh, session today. So um, today we haven't got a structured warm up as such just to get you limber and mobile. So your best bet today is to spend five to 10 minutes working on some mobility. You should now have enough knowledge in the tank um, so that you can get yourself prepared for a session. And we're gonna take you through preparations for barbells or kettlebells. So today it's on you to spend a little bit of time making sure that you're ready to train, okay? From once you've done that, you're then going to do um, a barbell complex. If you have a barbell, it's going to be two hang power cleans, two push presses, and then two thrusters. If you have a kettlebell, you're going to do one hang power clean, one push press, one thruster on each arm. And if you don't have any kit, you're going to do two broad jumps, two press ups, and two jumping squats. Okay. Work a few sets through these. Use as many as you feel that you need to to get prepared for the complex that we're gonna move on to. So with our barbell, we're gonna do seven hang power cleans, six shoulder to overheads, and five thrusters as one complex. The aim here is to not put the bar down and to gently build load over the sets that we're gonna do. If you have a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you're just gonna add a rep to each one of those. You're gonna do eight hang cleans, seven shoulder to overheads and then six thrusters and your aim here is you're going to do the first round on one arm and then the second round on the other arm so you'll have three rounds on your left three rounds on your right because we're going to do six total rounds if you don't have any kit you're going to find a little bit of load all right whether that's canvas bag shopping bag whatever and um, you can do seven load curls six shoulder to overheads and five load thrusters all right i've also gone through a couple of other options in the video uh, for the movements after this you're going to go every one and a half minutes and you're going to do six total sets for this piece all right so conditioning wise we're going to work um so a piece called annie so annie is 50 40 30 20 10 of double unders and sit-ups, okay? So you're gonna do 50 double unders, 50 sit-ups, 40 of each, 30 of each, and so on. If you are not quite yet up to double unders, then you can do single skips, but you're gonna double the amount of reps. So it'll be 100, 80, 60, 40, and 20. If you don't have a rope, you're gonna replace the skipping with air squats. So you're gonna do 25 air squats, then 50 sit-ups, 20 air squats, 40 sit-ups, 15 air squats, 30 sit-ups, 10 air squats, 20 sit-ups, five air squats, and 10 sit-ups. And that should take you around about the same amount of time as it would be if you're pretty proficient on a rope. Enjoy today's workout, guys. Go hard through these. Make sure on the sit-ups that you breathe through them all the way through, and you'll be good to go. Enjoy your session, guys, and we'll see you back tomorrow. It is Tuesday, and we are ready to go through the workout. Today, we have a little bit of either a barbell complex or a kettlebell complex dependent on uh, which you've got, okay? If you don't have any kit, it's absolutely fine. Uh, we also have a complex for you guys. You just need a little bit of load. So we're gonna warm up. Um, the warm up will be taken care of in the class, guys, okay? Um, today, we're gonna go through a general barbell warm up and then we're gonna build up from there. So if you're not taking part in the Zoom class, Go, through, uh, go back through a couple of workouts that we've done over the last week or so and pick some movements that for, are there. You should now be up to date with where you are warming up wise. Make sure you spend five to 10 minutes just getting your heart rate up and getting your body moving, okay? So we're gonna jump straight into our specific warm up. So if you have a barbell, you're going to do two hang power cleans, two push presses and two thrusters, okay? For this one, choose either an empty barbell or a very light load to make sure that you're getting the movements right. And we're gonna do sort of like two to three sets of these um, as we're warming up, okay? So, uh, first off, we're gonna do our hang power clean. So remember, we're gonna take that bar up to mid thigh, okay? So we're then gonna hinge from the hip, squeezing the feet down into the floor, keeping the shins vertical to the horizontal, drive up into that hang power clean position. So we're gonna dip, hinge, up and catch. From there, we're then going to do two push press. Making sure that we're utilizing the power of the hips and the legs. We're then going to set our feet into our squat stance and we're going to do two thrusters. Okay, so that's going to be our complex to start with. 
Make sure that you are just moving well with that. We're gonna come on to a load of complex uh, afterwards. So just make sure you use that as an, as an opportunity just to start that bar moving and to get you into a flow, okay? If you have a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're gonna do one rep, rep each side. You're gonna do a hang power clean each arm. You're then gonna do a push press each arm and a thrust at each arm. You could do two on your right, two on your left, it's entirely up to you, as long as you get those three movements in, okay? So, it's gonna be a uh, hand clean. First one, we're gonna start from the floor. Hand clean. Then, push press. Then, thruster. Okay, nice and smooth. Do that once on one side, then simply swap arms. Two cleans, two push press, and then two thrusters. All right, nice and smooth. If you have a head ball, this is a really nice thing to do. You can do two uh, power cleans, okay, with the med ball, two push presses, two thrusters, okay? So you could go from the floor up, into that catch position, come back down, up, catch, then two push presses, and then two thrusters. Okay, nice and simple. If you don't have any kit, then you're gonna do two broad jumps, okay? So, nice big jump, either walk back or just turn around and then jump, from where you came. You're then going to do two press ups and then you're going to do two air squats. Okay, still working exactly the same movement plans, same muscle groups, just in a varying way. Once we finish that, guys, we're then going to move into our complex and you're going to go every one and a half minutes for six total rounds. I'm going to go through each option and then we'll go from there. So if you have a barbell, you're gonna do seven hand power planes, six shoulder to overheads, five thrusters, okay? So you're gonna go through exactly the same movements that we just done in the warm-up. Seven hand power planes, six shoulder to overheads. So this could be a push press, could be a push jerk, or a split jerk, all right? Choice is yours. You're then gonna go into your thrusters for five final reps, okay? So, exactly the same movement as we've done in the warm-up. If you're on a dumbbell or a kettlebell, you're just gonna add one rep to those, and what you're gonna do here is you're gonna do one round on your left arm, one round on your right arm, left, Right, so you'll do three full rounds on your left arm, three full rounds on your right arm by the time you finish those six rounds, okay? So, you'll do your hang power cleans, all right? Nice big hip hinge, good solid catch, okay? Straight up, into that catch. You're then gonna do your seven shoulder to overheads, and then six thrusters. Okay, so that will be my complex. I'll then pop it down, rest the remainder of the time, and then I'll pick up from there. At the minute 30 mark, I'll then do the same complex on the other side, okay? If you have a med ball, then you can do exactly the same. You can do those power cleans again, all right? So driving up, into that solid catch. Then you've got your Shoulder to overheads, and then you've got your thrusters. All right, and these can be done with any loading possible, okay? So even if you have uh, something random, you've got a slam ball, you've got a plate, you can do these with all options, or variations, okay? If you only have, for example, say your canvas bag, then for here, we would suggest you're gonna do uh, 
seven load curls, okay? So you're just gonna get that curl position, all right? You're then gonna go seven, uh, so six, shoulder to overhead, and then again, those thrusters, okay? So you should be able to do this with any load that you've got. A rucksack would do exactly the same for those movements, okay? And you're gonna work through those every minute and a half for six total rounds. On a barbell, if you wanna add load as you go through, go for it. I personally would choose a load, stick to it, that I know is gonna to be tough but manageable and get some good reps in uh, throughout the workout, okay? So once we've done that, guys, we're then gonna move on to our conditioning piece. All you need here is a rope and either a mat or an ab mat because we are going to be doing sit-ups, okay? So just make sure that you've got something there. You can also use a towel, a t-shirt, whatever you guys feel free. So you're going to do Annie, okay? So Annie is double unders and sit-ups, all right? So it is, our rep scheme is going to be 50 double unders, 50 sit-ups, 40 and 40, 30, 30, 20, 20, 10 and 10. If you do not have the uh, ability to double unders just yet, then single skips and you're going to double the amount of reps. Okay? So remember, our double unders, or single skips. If you do not have a rope today, then you are going to half the amount of reps and you're going to do air squats. Okay? Our third option, if you don't have a rope, is those jump in and outs that we did the other day. Okay, those could also work, but our option for you today is gonna to go with those air squats. But you will do half the amount of reps, it'll be 25, 20, 15, 10, and then five if you are doing air squats, okay? Once you've finished those double unders, skips or air squats, you're then gonna go down into your sit-ups. So, you can do them without the pad, entirely up to you. Touch the floor behind, go up in front. If you do have an ab mat, you can use those. You can get equal and opposite pressure through here. So you can press hard down onto that mat and then drive up. Choice is entirely up to you. There's a lot of sit-ups here, guys. So what we don't want you to do is sort of uh, mark your middle of or your lower back. So make sure you've got something soft that you can do those um, sit-ups on. So you'll do 50 double unders or 100 single skips or 25 air squats. You're then gonna do 50 sit-ups. You then do 40 or 80 or 20, okay, depending on which movement you're using, and then 40 sit-ups. All the way down to your 10s, all right? This is a short, sharp, again, little piece. Really breathe through those sit-ups. If you start getting really out of breath, those can become very, very difficult. All right, enjoy this one guys. And um, after this one, there's a lot of double unders as well. Make sure you foam roll or stretch out your calves and uh, you'll be good to go for tomorrow. Enjoy your day guys, enjoy the workout and we'll see you again soon.